here, it's here, it's here, it's here. It is finally here. The joys of living on the East Coast. You get these things last. But I am so excited. If you wanna see what I got in my Beautylish Lucky Bag, 2024 edition, let's do it. All right. Can you tell I'm excited? I've been waiting for this thing. I did watch a few spoilers, but I stopped myself. I watched like three videos, I think. Two of them had very similar items. One had something totally different. And I was like, you know what? I, ca I cannot, I cannot be doing this. I want to be at least somewhat surprised. So I stopped watching. I just filmed this look in a very chill, what I'm using instead of buying new products type of video. Just having some Prosecco. I don't think these are, any of these are gonna be Martini Mondays because I would like to. I don't think I'm gonna be able to edit this tonight because it's already like 12.30 in the morning on Wednesday slash Thursday. And I have, Thursday is like my longest teaching day except for Saturday. So I think after this, I, I need to actually write a couple of recommendation letters for some students and then call it a night. But we're still gonna open this thing and then hopefully tomorrow i'll let it and you guys will see this on friday fingers crossed but yeah i'm so excited in my last video which you guys will probably be seeing after this one i completely forgot to introduce myself or do any sort of intro i still haven't figured out a proper intro for 2024 i need to work on that but if you're new here hi my name is natalia i'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty and this year i am on a low buy where i am focusing more on discovering and rediscovering what is already in my collection instead of constantly bringing in new things and trying to make very 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 conscientious choices about what I do bring in. So I'll be doing a lot of uh, kind of shop my stash style videos. I call them my basket of dooms. They're sort of like a shop my stash slash chopping block integrated into one type of a video. So those are gonna be coming back soon. Once I finish filming and editing all of my declutters, I'm in the midst of a huge decluttering process here. And yes, if you're interested in all that, I'll be doing probably a lot of duping the vibes, talking about new makeup, even if I don't necessarily buy all of it. And occasionally, of course, there will be new stuff. So yeah, if you're excited to see all that, I hope that you will join us here. Please subscribe. And I, I can't wait any longer. Let's do this. I did get the big one. I got the same one I got last year. So last year was my very first time ever doing the Lucky Bag. I've been watching these for so many years. And last year, I finally bit the bullet and bought my first one. I can link the video for you guys if you're curious to see what I got in my first one. I'm actually wearing one of the items on my face today. And I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking, but I decided to go ahead and get another big one. So these are $150 lucky, well, I guess, rewind. Rewind. For those of you that are not familiar with what a lucky bag is, Beautylish, which of course is a website that carries a lot of high-end skincare, makeup, all of that fun jazz. Beautylish does this Japanese tradition every single year where they do a mystery box and there's different ones to choose from. They open up the mystery box sales always on the morning of December 26th, right after Christmas. This year was the first year, I don't think it's sold out for quite a few hours. Usually they go pretty fast and I guess maybe people are just starting to be a little bit more choosy with what they want to purchase and instead of getting mystery boxes maybe want to spend their money on very specific things which I completely understand and it's possible that that will be my future but this year I decided one more time to go ahead and do the lucky box so there's a $75 version where you are supposed to get at least $150 worth of mystery products there's this $150 extra large version where you're supposed to get at least $300 worth of products and then there was a bunch of other ones like there was a Wayne Goss box, some other things, but always gorgeous wrapping paper. I'm loving this dragon for the year of the dragon. It says, those of you guys that have seen these unboxings have heard this little blurb, I'm sure by now so many times, but it says, the dragons on this year's lucky bag symbolize good luck and fortune along with power and change. I like that. That needs to, that's, that's gonna be my year. We hope these surprises offer you moments of self-love that help you tap into your power in 2024. I like that. I have my little tag from last year actually hanging on one of my lamps. I can see it, you guys can't. So this one's gonna go and um, yeah, we're gonna put it there as well because I wanna save this. That's beautiful. Somehow when you read it yourself, you understand the meaning of it a little bit better. I, I mean, as I said, I've watched a couple of spoilers, but I think I wasn't really paying attention to that. I was like, get 
Show me the products, show me the products. But actually, this is almost more important to think about the message and let it sink in. But now let's get into the products. So as always, we have like a plastic bag type thing. I'm gonna end up seeing at least some stuff, but I'm gonna quickly cut through this or do something so that I can just dig in there and try not to look at everything. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna grab. First thing I see is the Agostinos Bader hair oil. I know this is a high-end brand. I've never tried anything from Agostinos Bader. I'm not very good. I shouldn't say that. I do actually use hair oil. I just use it after I wash my hair and before I style, which I assume is how you're supposed to use it. So let's see. Directions for you. Apply one to three drops to clean. Oh, clean, dry. Oh, okay. To clean, dry, or towel dried hair from the mid lengths to the ends to detangle, smooth and add shine. Use two to three times per week as needed. Okay, yeah, I will use this. I will definitely use this. So while it might not be a super exciting product, it's definitely one that is useful. Ooh, another useful product. There's always a Good Molecules product in these Lucky Bags because Good Molecules is an in-house brand of Beautylish. So I guess it just makes sense for them. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum and I love me some Hyaluronic Acid. In fact, I need to, I need to do a skincare declutter or at least like a skincare organization at some point and check if I even have any hyaluronic serums. Probably I do. I probably have everything, but it's winter. We're gonna give this a go as long as I don't have an older hyaluronic serum because that's the other thing. I need to go through and see like what's really old and if it hasn't gone bad, use that up first. All right, Charlotte Tilbury. Hmm, last year I got a Char Charlotte Tilbury product that ended up being a bit of a bust for me, but I also have have some Charlotte my god, why can I not say her name? I also have some Charlotte Tilbury products in my collection that I do really enjoy. So this is the Eye Enhancing Beauty Secrets Kit. It's a color chameleon in award-winning pillow talk and new matte shade. So these, are, I guess, are eye pencils, which while I have not been into that for many, 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 many years, I am on a journey to finally start using my single cream shadows and single sticks. And I think I said this last year and still never really got on board with this. I feel like I am one of those people that when I do makeup, I go all out or I just don't wear makeup at all more times than not. And I'd like to find a balance where I'm somewhere in between, where I get to actually take a little bit of me time without it having to turn into a whole big production. I can do something like a super simple one shadow look with a bold lip. Um, today is not a one shadow look, but it is a bold lip because I'm trying to emulate some products that have recently come out that I really, really want, but I'm trying to instead find similar items in my collection. Any guesses? Back to this. This is the color Chameleon in Smoky Pillow Talk. How does this open? Like a pencil. Yes, I'm just gonna swatch right away. There is that shade. I don't know if it's my favorite shade. I feel like it's a little too reddish brown for me. And then this is the color chameleon just in pillow talk. Of course it is. Okay, but this is pretty. This is really pretty. This is like a rose gold. Really nice. Very soft pencil. Just from that swatch, you guys can see. Very, very soft pencil. I wonder how it blends out. And then I guess more importantly, how does it set? So I just blended out the edges a little bit, but we'll have to see. I'll have to try this and see how these set. Cute, cute. I will do prices during editing because I film on my phone and obviously I can't look up prices right now. Yay! Oh my gosh! I'll be honest, one of the main reasons I finally got the Lucky Bag last year was I wanted a Sonia G brush and I didn't get one last year. And now I finally have a Sonia G brush. This is my first one. Oh my goodness, what are you? Which kind are you? Does it say? Where does it say, guys? I don't even know. Here we go. It is the soft buffer. Oh, that is soft. This is the soft buffer. Okay, all of my Sonia G lovers out there, and I know there's a few of you guys that watch me. I'm friends with quite a few people that love their Sonia G brushes. Tell me what the soft buffer is best used for. I'm so happy right now. 
Okay, we have a slip scrunchie. My friend Kelly from Keep Beauty Real finally turned me on to these after hearing her talk about them for years. I finally caved and bought a set during the Sephora VIB sale, I believe it was. Lost all of them. And then during their sale on sale, there was like a set with two bigger ones and I think three smaller ones that I just recently purchased. And now I'm like keeping them where my makeup is so that I don't lose them. But I have one more. I would have preferred not a pink one personally, but hey, it's a scrunchie. I'll use it. RMS Beauty Lip Lights. Oh, I've seen people get this. This is like a cream product, cream gloss, I think. And this is in Rhapsody, which I believe is a pretty deep shade. So it comes in one of these like metal tubes. Is it one you have to first? No, you don't have to first puncture it. It already has the product there. In my understanding, it's quite a thick product. Yeah, you could see like it's coming out slowly. So there it is. How am I gonna do this? Oh my gosh. I can't see what I'm doing. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. These lights are so bright. It smells, does it smell like chocolate? It smells good, it smells yummy. I think I'm gonna like this. Maybe it's a little thick and sticky, but I guess I won't know until I actually try it. And right now I can't try it. Ooh, the only problem is look, it's continuing to push out of there, I guess, because I pushed a little too, too strong. That's too bad, but I'm gonna remove that. I've never been a fan of these. I understand maybe it's like earth friendly or whatever, but I've never been a fan of this metal packaging. Okay, so I've had to, of course, put more on. So there it is, it's like a brown. It really matches though with the eye sticks. Like you could create basically a monochromatic look with that. What is this? Is this a Wayne Goss product? Looks like it. I have one of his eyeshadow palettes. So let's just hope it's not that. I think like his products all look the same as far as packaging. What is this? No, this is the blush palette, the blush veil in Desert Blossom. And the shades are Nectar and Petals. So let's see what that looks like. Nice shiny packaging. Okay, very light, good for me. Very light peachy blush and highlighter. Okay. Okay, I'm excited to try his formula. I know a lot of people really loved these when they first came out. I know there's some more interesting shades available, but hey. Hi. What is this? Ooh, something from Jouer. <gasps> Dark circle correcting and smoothing eye patches. Oh, how funny. I was just mentioning in a video of mine, I think it was my recent empties video, that I really wanna get into masking and specifically more masking under my eyes. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Beautylish heard me and they customized the box with me in mind with caffeine, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. Oh, hey. Hey. All right, and I think I have just one more product and it's the big one. And I think if I, by the size of it, am correct, I know what this is. By the way, I know some people read off who packed their box. My box was packed by April. So if your box was also packed by April, let me know. Yes. Yes, I was right. I got the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 5. I'm excited. I'm really, I'm like a quiet excited because I'm, I'm a little bit in shock that I actually got it. Okay, let's move this. Oh, but I'm excited because this is my very first Danessa Myricks eyeshadow palette. And I've heard so many people talk about this one in 2023. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. And I believe she's $125 on her own. So even though it was a $150 mystery box with $20 for shipping, by the way, and tax. So I think the total was like 183 or something. Sorry if you hear the baby crying in the hallway of my building. My understanding is it's all, well, I mean, I can see. It's all special shades, all shimmers. So there's going to be like shifty shades, flaky shades, smoother shades. And I'm really excited. Obviously, I'm gonna really have to get on board with pulling out another palette to use with it, which I have not been very good at, but hopefully this will inspire me to finally start mixing and matching again. So there's the soft energy, the bold energy, and the grounding energy. So I'm, I'm gonna have to read up on this because I've never really looked into the Danessa Myricks 
palettes because they were so expensive. I guess these are the actual like formulas. There's the Heavenly Halos, Fusion Flakes, Silk Press Shifters, Whipped Powder Shifters, and Molten Metals, Suede Shimmers, Cushion Chromes. Wow, that's cool. There's a lot of different formulas. I'm excited to research what all of them mean. Do you guys want any sort of videos with this to encourage me to play with it even more? Do you want like a swatch party? Shall we do anything with it? Let me know. Let me know if you have it and you love it. What are your favorite shades? I'm going to tally up the total of all of this and put it on the screen so that you guys know how much this box was worth. I also want to go through and just see not necessarily what would I buy myself because to be honest, I don't think I would have bought any of this myself unless I had the extra income to spare. In that case, I would have definitely by now purchased, I'm sure, quite a few Sonia G brushes. So as far as items like I was hoping one day to buy myself or had I had unlimited funds, I would have probably already purchased definitely the Sonia G brush and possibly the one, at least one of the Danessa Myricks palettes whether it would have been the one from this past year, the number five or not, that I don't know. But let's see what I am excited about. And then I'll put the value of that here on the screen. Things that are like yeses for me, things that I am super excited about. The palette, the brush, actually the eye patches, surprisingly enough. I feel like I have a hair. It's driving me crazy. Where is this hair? It's right here. Oh, that was so itchy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what was I saying? Danessa Myricks, yes. Brush, absolutely. Actually, the eye patches, whether these or some other ones, but these, great. So those are things I definitely don't mind spending my money on. Hyaluronic acid, I can always use. I think this is only like $6 though, but we're gonna throw it in. Things that I would not have purchased, but I'm happy to have are the oil and the Wayne Gloss blush and highlighter. And actually the Silk Scrunchie. It's just a color thing. Clearly, I've already purchased a bunch of these. And then things that I'm like, meh, take it or leave it. I could have definitely subbed these out for something else in the box, gladly, would be the RMS Gloss and these Charlotte Tilbury eye sticks. So I think it's not so bad. I think considering it's just two products that I'm kind of like, mm, I think overall I'm happy with this year's box. While yes, I'm not one of the ones that got like a whole set of these because there are people both last year and I believe even this year, I haven't seen those videos, but I've heard that some people are getting entire eye brush sets of Sony G. While I didn't get the extra lucky bag, I think I got pretty darn lucky. Let me know what you think. What are your favorite products from this? Did you get the lucky bag? If you are on YouTube, did you film an unboxing? Because now I can actually watch all of them. Let me know down below. And if you got one, but you don't film, I'm nosy. I want to know what you got. Drop it in the comments, please. And with that, I think that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing with me. And other than that, I hope that you guys are all doing really, really well. I hope that you are continuing to stay. What is my outro? I hope that you are continuing to take care. No, 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 Natalia, you just did it. I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy, take care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.